I've gotten quite a few questions over the past couple of uh, weeks. We did a lot of traveling with investors. Uh, I spoke at a, an event over here in Manhattan and uh, keep coming up with the same questions. So I said, you know what, let me uh, just make a video about it. And I want to talk about lean position and the power of the junior lean. Um, a lot of people don't know this uh, about second mortgages. First of all, uh, we own non-performing residential second mortgages nationwide. Uh, we've been in at this business 15 years now. It's been very uh, profitable, very enjoyable. Uh, we buy these loans at a significant discount. And then we're able to work with the borrower who's not paying on her mortgage to get them current and get them back paying again. And we pass some of that discount on to the borrower. Um, they want to send us Christmas cards uh, because we've been able to lower their monthly payment, lower their interest rate, lower their balance in some cases. And it's a very powerful position. So the, the first point of power that I would have to uh, speak on is the fact that we are a recorded lien on title. And when that property sells or gets refinanced, we get notified that we need we need to provide them with payoff figures, and we're gladly uh, willing to provide them the payoff figures to get that loan paid off. Now, when a property goes into, let's say, a short sale event, um, meaning the uh, first mortgage is owed $150,000. The second mortgage is owed $50,000 for a total of $200,000. And the realtor decided to, the house was only worth uh, 175, let's say. Uh, they, they list the house at 175, they get, a, get it under contract. Then they call me up and they say, hey, we need you to accept a $2,000 payoff on your $50,000 mortgage. And I always come back and say, why in the world would I ever do that? And they say, because you're a junior lien and we usually just offer $2,000 to the junior liens. I say, well, not this time. Uh, I look at the equity. I look at the amount of the mortgage. I look at the borrower. I look to see has this borrower been cooperative with me or have they been combatant? Uh, if they fought us along the way or told us, don't ever call me again. Well, now it's time for them to pay up. So I see that we have $25,000 worth of equity over our first mortgage that or not our first mortgage, the first mortgage that's on that property. Uh, there's 25, even though that we're owed 50,000, uh, we're aiming at that $25,000. So I will repeat back to the realtor and say, or the title company and tell them that we will accept $25,000. And they say, no way. And I say, well, then nobody gets paid at the closing because I am a lien holder a secured lien holder on this asset. In this case, it's a house. And so they get all huffy and puffy and they realize at some point someone explains to them, yes, in fact, he can, I can actually control whether or not this property gets sold because I am a secured lien. And they come back and say, well, how about we give you $10,000? And at this point, I'm like, okay, so how much are the realtors getting paid? Can the borrower, the homeowner, come up with any money? And uh, it's a very powerful position. So here, here the borrower now, the homeowner, is looking to borrow money just to sell his house because of our position. Uh, I've had... Title, title company come back and offer us $200 for our position. Then they say, oh, no, we're sorry. We meant $2,000. And 
And I'm like, oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm owed $50,000. And the realtors are getting $10,000 each, and you're going to pay the second mortgage, a secured lien on the property, $2,000. Uh, I'm just not going to go for that. So I just wanted to get this thing out. I know a lot of people have been asking me questions on this. Uh, it's a great it's a great question. Yes, you can actually foreclose from a junior lien position for non-payment after three months. Stated clearly in the mortgage documents, uh, even if there has been a bankruptcy uh, discharge, Chapter 7, Chapter 13, we still have a secured lien on the property. We may not have a secured lien against the borrower because of the Chapter 7 discharge, but we still have the right to foreclose. And every foreclosure that we have ever started, we have won every case. I'm talking 15 years worth of loans. Uh, we have not lost a foreclosure case yet, meaning at some point during the foreclosure process, we get paid. Either the borrower comes up with the money, the house gets sold, and we get paid, or we actually take the house to auction if they are not willing to cooperate with us. And we have taken the property to auction. And either we end up taking the property back subject to the first mortgage, or we sell the house. Uh, the house gets sold at auction and someone bids above what our strike price is. Okay, so I hope this helps. Uh, owning second mortgages is very powerful. Most people don't know it, and that's the purpose for this video. All right, over and out.